lecture at Taylor's College's Canadian Pre-University Program. And uh, I'm the founder, I guess, of uh, Everyone Has Hope Project, which basically started um, after I, I saw a movie uh, called Born Into Brothels, where a photographer taught children photography to kind of liberate them and make them feel, feel better about their situation. So that was how it got started, and here we are today. I've been working very closely with the Burmese refugee from the Alliance of Chain Refugee School for the past two years and for the past nine months we've been working with the second batch of students and they are really talented and dedicated to learn. It's been a really great um, and amazing experience working with them. My name is Molly, I'm 14 years old. Uh, I come from Chin State. I live in Malaysia for two years. Uh, my name is Simon. Uh, I come from Limar, a part of Chin State. I have been here four years. Uh, I am 15 years old. My family also with me in Malay. We live in Pudu. My name is Jonah. Uh, I am 16 years old. Uh, I come from Myanmar, Chin State. My name is uh, Elijah. I am 15 years old. I come from Chin State and I have been in Malaysia for years. Hi, my name is Philip. I am 50 years old. I come from Myanmar, Chin State. Uh, uh, I live in Malaysia for two years. My name is Julian Wei. I am 16 years old. by these photographs. It just goes to show that it's not about having, you know, 10 years of training and having all the technical skills. It's about having an eye and a heart. And, and the opportunity to, to express yourself. That really brings up some of the most beautiful um, images um, that I've seen. In fact, I've already choked one already. I'm buying one. <laughs> I mean, the big thing is, of course, they're, they're kids, and if uh, Malaysia, which Malaysia has, um, they've agreed to the Convention on the Rights of the Child, um, so that means that all children in this country should have their basic rights, and one of these rights is a rights to education, so these children aren't allowed to go to public school, so that doesn't compute for me. So we have a situation where there are, you know, I'm going to throw it a ballpark, ballpark figure, probably about 50,000 uh, kids you know who can't attend school and when a kid can't go to school uh, the kid doesn't uh, develop in the way that that child should so you know it's a it's a key opportunity for uh, Malaysia to take a step in in making uh, these kids lives better and then ultimately making Malaysia better <laughs>